So how do you reverse engineer a Robinson annulation and a Michael reaction? This is definitely going to be one of those you were hopefully given like a tip off that you're trying to reverse engineer this particular type of reaction because the symptoms of this type of reaction are not necessarily unique to this type of reaction. So a symptom, and I like to call it a symptom, the symptom of a Robinson annulation is you have an alpha beta, you have a six membered ring containing an alpha beta unsaturated ketone and then you got a ketone hanging a couple carbons away. So to determine what was used to make this, we had to look back at what the end product is and why it is an end product. So with Robinson annulation, we have elimination to form this double bond using a starting alcohol. So this would have been the product, the initial product of the Michael reaction when it underwent Robinson annulation to kind of create this alcohol that would further eliminate under basic conditions. Now, this makes it a little bit easier here. This carbon, this beta carbon here relative to the ketone would have been part of our starting diketone. And this component here would have been the starting part of our alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So let's pick it apart. We know that we have to have a diketone. So we have to have something in the form like this. Now, we already kind of see one ketone here, so we preserve one half of the ketones when we do the Robinson annulation. So this part here is this lump here. This bridging carbon is this one here, and this OH group would have been where the ketone was. So this originally was a ketone, and this then was our starting diketone for the Michael, for the Michael addition, or for the Michael reaction. What about this part here? Well, we go back, we have to recognize that this would have, this carbon here would have attacked part of a double bond. So this was originally a double bond for the Michael addition. And this carbon here being the, further, being the other alpha carbon relative to the ketone, so we go back and look at the reaction, Michael reaction, would have been the one that would have attacked this because it was six carbons away. So this here is our starting reagent for the Michael reaction. So this is how you reverse engineer the Michael addition fault Michael reaction plus the um, Robinson annulation. So for the Michael reaction, these was this is the starting D, starting di ketone. This is the starting alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Again, how did we come to that? Well. There are two alpha carbons relative to the ketone. The one that was not attached to the double bond is going to be the one that attached just to the diketone. So that's how we rationalize that part here. The, when we form the six member ring, these two carbons on the left here, because it contained, was attached to the double bond, would have been the ones that is connected to the carbon that attacked the original bottom end of the alkene. So this is how you reverse engineer a Robinson annulation, which subsequently follows a Michael reaction. In terms of a Michael reaction, how you reverse engineer that, that's the next video.